what's up YouTube it's your boy tits here and today we're gonna take a look at the hind we're gonna go over a build breakdown for this weapon for all factions wasn't planning on doing this weapon because first weapons in this game are just kind of eh, they're not real popular not usually first on people's list but I did get some subscriber requests for it so I decided I'll go ahead go ahead and go over it try to get through all the factions really quick uh, the builds are pretty uh, pretty basic not too hard to understand and then we can jump right into some gameplay I'll just say real quick, it's a burst weapon that shoots 5 rounds per shot, uh, 30 damage per round, 65 in the clip, and it has a 2 second reload. Speed trigger does not affect this weapon that well at all, and it's a non-armor ignore weapon, and remember it's normal weapon damage type, so don't shoot, uh, or well just remember you know before you start getting mods on it. Uh, you won't be doing any damage if you shoot Corpus in the head, because they don't take normal bullet damage to the head. So for Corpus, we got split chamber and serration up all the way, just like on all the builds for max damage. We got them ranked up all the way. Stormbringer, cry rounds, and piercing hit ranked up all the way. Your typical three mods for your Corpus, and lastly, bane of Corpus. Now this is just a straightforward, pretty much max damage build that I recommend because with a really nice reload, a decent ammo, and the fact that speed trigger does not affect this weapon well at all, that's, for those reasons, that's why I recommend going with a straightforward damage build on this weapon. Alright, let's jump into Infested and Grenier real quick, and then we'll check this weapon out, a little bit of gameplay. Alright, for Infested, Split Chamber and Serration, that's the same. And then we have Hellfire in there, max rank. Wildfire, max rank. They both stack, remember, for plenty of fire damage for the Infested. We switched AP with Crow Rounds because AP does not deliver good damage for Light Infested. Only 50% damage it gives, so AP is not good against Light Infested. So we switch it out with Crow Rounds. And then we just switch the Bane mod to Bane of Infested. And lastly for your Grenier build. Alright, for the Grenier build, it's actually exactly the same as the Corpus build. Except instead of Bane of Corpus, you're going to want to put in Bane of Grenier in this slot right here. That's with those 9 points left. You're going to want to put a Bane of Grenier in. It's actually the last Bane mod I haven't found here yet. So, <laughs> unfortunately don't have it to put in there. But a Bane of Grenier is what you're going to want to use. And if you want, you can use a Hellfire instead of a Stormbringer. It's up to you. Uh, they do the same damage bonus to Grenier. But I usually like to choose the Electric over Hellfire for Grenier because of the stunning property properties of Electric. And let's jump into some gameplay. Alright guys, I got some Hyena gameplay. It's a higher level Corpus and Nightmare gameplay. Got my Rhino out with his Nightmare build. It's actually not the perfect Nightmare build that I'm actually going to do a video on here soon, but I wanted to make it a little bit harder, so I only put a few things in to help me out. Like, I think I'm not sure if I even have any extra vitality on in this gameplay, but I had uh, Rage on, which Rage is a really important Nightmare. I'll give you that one tip. You see the Iron Skin I just popped there. This is the hardest nightmare. No energy, no shields. Uh, you got a, a base health, non vampire, which is actually harder than vampire. And when I take some health damage, I'm able to pop that iron skin if if you're paying attention to it. And that's going to be better than using any later powers because you're not really going to be able to take enough health damage to work up to them. And your iron skin is going to benefit you uh, defense wise a lot longer. Other than that, you know, your armor, vitality, rush helps you get around really quick, dodge and get behind cover. Just use his, um, just use his one power, his iron skin. I think I have his other ones on too, but just use his one power. Uh, streamline, see the armor, the vitality, you can put the vigor on if you want for extra health. And that's, that's pretty much the majority of it, but I'll do a nightmare build on right now. 
So on to the Hind. It's pretty decent. When you get all the mods on, especially a straight damage build like this, it does some pretty good damage. It, uh, even on Nightmare Mode at this high level, um, not going for the headshots, this, I mean, it, it really delivered enough damage. I was able to down the enemies, you know, and usually one burst, plenty enough time. So, you know, I'd give the weapon a chance. It's really not that bad. I think the biggest thing about the burst weapons is they're just not really that fun to play with in this play with in this game. The game's just more fun as a fast-paced game. You know, if it was like a technical multiplayer game, if it was in um, what's the game called? If we were in like Counter Strike or something, you know, it'd be different if I was using a burst weapon. But for this game, that's more arcade style. I just, uh, most people would just rather use, you know, the automatic rifles. But it's definitely better to use than a person, and it's it's really not that bad at all. So I got a little bit more gameplay here for you. I'll, let you, I'll just leave you to it. I'm going to go ahead and head out. hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.